done. Let's set our goal right now. This is the goal for 2011 biking season. So we're going to have about 5460. By the Good morning. Welcome to the video. It's 108 p.m. I was just watching my vlog from a year ago, New Year's, and we had 5,460 miles on the bike. We set a goal. End of this year, you want to go we to set 70... 380. No, that's your dress. 70... <laughs> About 7250. 7250. Our goal was to get to 7,250 miles in 2011. Now that's not 7,250 miles total in the year 2011. Our goal was by the end of 2011 to have 7,250 miles since we started like two or three years ago. I know we didn't hit that goal. Let's see what we got to. 6134. We're 1116 miles short of our, of our goal. We've never been that bad before. We've set goals for the past two or three years, and we've always passed our goals by three, four, five hundred miles. And this year we did really poorly. So here's the explanation of why. A lot of it was the weather. All of June, it rained. The whole June. Go back and watch the vlog. Find me a couple nice days in June. We didn't have many. July. It got nice, except it was 80 and 90. We had a couple hundred degree days, and Kenan was gone for two weeks in the Caribbean. Um, and then the fall we had. The fall was warm, but it rained the whole time. This was the wettest year on record for Ohio in, I think, since they started keeping records in like 1850-something, when they figured out how to write stuff down in Cleveland or whatever. So, really disappointing that we didn't hit our goal. I think I'm going to set a goal right now. I haven't talked to Kenan. You're by the end of 2012. Let's try to get, um, let's see, we're at 6,100. Let's try 8,000. We'll try to get 8,000 miles. That's 1,900 miles, just less than 1,900 miles to do in 2012. Weather permitting, I think we can do it. Granted, I have a car now. I have been driving more. Like, if it's pretty late and we want to go downtown, we used to just bike and then come home at night. Well, now we take the car, so we don't have to come home at night. If we think it's going to rain, now we'll take the car. Well, I don't like to take the car in the rain in the summer, right? But we'll sift to see how far we get in 2012. But I'm making that personal goal to get 8,000 miles. We'll let you know how it goes. Now, I don't even have to say it's hard to bike around here because we can't bike between, well, we can't bike January, February, or March. It's really only April through October, sometimes November. I'll keep you posted on that over the next year. 7,500 miles. That's our goal. That's our resolution. That's our goal. It's going to take a while. We'll be, hopefully, we'll be there in about a year. I was wrong. It wasn't 7,250. It was 7,500. So we were another 250 miles off from our goal in 2011. So I'm rewatching my vlog from uh, January 2nd, 2011. That's day 21. So like 365 days ago. Well, a year ago today. Um, and I had all the Christmas stuff down, both here and at my grandparents' house, inside and outside. I was 100% done. This year, same day, even by the end of today, I will be 0% done. But last year was different. It actually felt like Christmas last year. We had a lot of snow. Um, by this time last year, we had had two or three feet of snow. Now we haven't even had three inches total. So it felt like Christmas. This year didn't really feel like Christmas. It just felt like it was November with Christmas decorations up and we had Christmas. So I think I'm going to let it go a little bit longer this year. It's a lot of work, as most of you probably know, to take everything apart and put it away and then bring the couch back in here. And I mean, just, just the family room here with the tree. I've got to take the tree apart and get it downstairs and this crap will take probably four hours, three or four hours just in here. And then I've got the rest of the house and then the outside's another four hours. And uh, it's going to snow tomorrow and be nasty, so maybe I'll do it this next week. But I would like to just get some snow and just spend some time in here and sit down and relax. But the same part of me wants to get this crap done and put away with and start trucking towards spring. Hey, I wanted to catch up with you guys on something that I have talked about a couple times in the vlogs before. Last year, um, on January 1st, 2011, I started a goal that I would do push-ups every night. And I'd see how many I could do, and I started off with 10. And by the end of 10, January 1st, 2011, that was about it. <laughs> that was about all I could do. Um, Every night I, I, I just did 10 and 10, soon 10 were easy, I moved to 15, 20, I went up by fives, increments of five. Um, as of December, sometime just after Christmas, a couple days, 
I am doing 80 push-ups every night now. So I've done eight times what I uh, was capable of doing before. Uh, some nights I can do 85 if I'm real tired. Tonight I'm not tired at all. I will probably do 80 good ones and then the last five won't be that good. So I do them pretty quickly. If I, I could build more muscle stamina doing them slower. Uh, but I'm doing 80 a night, uh, so we'll see where we are in a year. Hopefully we'll break 150. That'd be cool. Good afternoon. It's 12.37 p.m. I'm going to go play TV repair guy at uh, my grandparents' house. Both TVs, the one in the new one in the kitchen and the older one in the family room that's only a year old. They're not getting sound. They've got problems, stuff screwed up. So I'm going to go figure out what buttons they probably hit on the remote. Uh, <laughs> I've been in there for about two hours. We got the TV fixed. You had to reboot the box to get the audio to work, and then we got Bo's companion two speakers for the one in the kitchen because she hated the sound. So now I'm going to let the car warm up, um, and I'm going to have to take a brush to it because it's been snowing probably more where I live and less here because this is about 20 minutes south. But I've got a brush in the trunk, and uh, we're going to Panera. For just a light dinner because I had my lunch at 2.30 here. Leftover Christmas ham actually. But we're gonna head out to Panera and uh, get some food. We also take ah, on check it out. We got the Michael Baston show on. Yeah! 519 p.m. Michael Baston show cranking away. We're headed over to Panera. So love this. 93.1. So they got R and B, it's W Z A K Cleveland. Michael Baston. <laughs> Still got the Michael Bayston show on here. We just grabbed dinner. It was good. I didn't film anything. It was pretty quick. But uh, I'm headed home. It's been snowing for a while. We got snow plows over here. Freaking rights we do. And it's just 27 degrees now. As Kenan said yesterday, we dropped 20 degrees today. Yesterday it was just about 47. So 47 minus 20 is 27. Which is what it is now. Tomorrow we're supposed to lose another 10 down to the high teens. And uh, more snow. So I'll keep you up to date. Oh, come on! Fourth gear. This is ridiculous. That's about it. I'm not really going to go faster than 30. These roads have not even been treated. But you'll see if I shift up to fifth gear at just over 30 miles an hour. This car has so much torque at no RPMs. It just... Every time that orange light flashes, that's the DSC engaging. So we'll just take it long and slow on the way home. All right, here's the garage, and I'm going to try to get in it. Oh, come on! Oh, man! This one needs even... Ding! Door open. I can't tell if that wheel's... Yep. Getting nowhere. Ah. <sighs> More snow. At least it's pretty now. I did get to use the snow blower uh, for a couple minutes, and I've spent the last 20 minutes playing with ratchets, deep sockets, and toilet seats. Yeah, so I got a complaint that all the toilet seats were loose, and well, I confirmed that. So I got the deep socket, and the deep socket wasn't deep enough, so I had to jury rig my own extension to it that wouldn't go too far into the actual square um, ratchet, um, I guess, input where you put the ratchet, because the screws coming out of the seat or whatever were way too long. So that's fixed. So now I'm just going to watch some Family Guy and do some emails. It's 8 it's 8.30, so that'll be a good way to spend an hour. All right, guys, it's just about 10 o'clock. I came out here. I am completely bundled up. I even got my youth boots on. And um, since I'm leaving tomorrow morning to take the car in for a couple days, so there's the light. You can see better now. I'm leaving tomorrow to take the car in. Actually, tomorrow morning, probably around uh, 8.30, I'm going to leave here to drop the car off, have them do the O2 sensors, the spark plugs, run the stuff through the engine, replace the um, the pump in the fuel tank that does the emissions crap. They're going to have it probably till Thursday or Friday. And I want to be able to get out, the, get out of the driveway in the morning. And it's supposed to snow a crap ton more overnight. So I'm going to take off these uh, two or three inches of snow that have accumulated. I'm going to use the blower. It's working pretty well, the new one from last year. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do that in about 10 or 15 minutes here. 15 minutes later, it's done, but uh, it's still snowing. And I think it's supposed to for a long time. My head is probably covered in snow and I needed to go in and take a shower. 
Um, so I'm going to clean up out here. I got snow everywhere. I got extra shoes, a shovel, and a very, very white snow blower. So that's it for today. Day 386. Tomorrow's 387. And uh, I'll talk to you earlier than I want to, I'm sure. I've been getting up pretty late. Tomorrow's going to be a rude awakening. So I'll talk to you in the morning. Good night.